Hello, hello. Hello everyone. I'm a little tiny bit early. Say hello when you jump on. So my name's Miriam. I'm a content creator for Hocus Pocus Australia and we should be cross posting. Hello Marie. We should be cross posting tonight through to Hocus Pocus Australasia second time round and Refunk Junk along with Nine Lives Artistry. So whichever um, page you're watching from, say hello and um, yeah, we'll get on with it. We're going to do a couple of things tonight. Um, we're going to add some transfers to this old hat box. So it's just a, an old cardboard hat box, which I thought could be used very nicely as a baby's gift box. So if I can get the top off it now. So yeah, that's just a hat box which I've sealed and painted in Purico's Macadamia in the silk paint. I've left it quite rough because I want it to be a vintage kind of look, hence the gorgeous vintage transfer. So this is the Hocus Pocus transfer, We Love You Baby. And these are some of the images. Hello, Belinda. Okay. So this is one of the big trees that's in here. So it's not, the hat box isn't that big, so I'm not going to use all of them. But have a look at the detail in this beautiful bunny. Look at it. So beautiful. And the cute little duck. That reminds me of an old birthday card I had when I was about five. So they will be saved for another project. And I'm also going to do some decoupage. Now I'm going to do it a bit different. I'm going to do some reverse decoupage. I've done this one to show you. Now this is an old door of a unit. I went to a house they were demolishing it so I've I saved it. So what I've done is I've used the Hocus Pocus Decor Weave Finny Boss or Fin Boss, which I have stuck onto the back using my water-based sealer. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit more. And I've got another one which I have painted and I'll show you the technique that I use to stick it on. Uh, it's quite simple. You've just got to make sure you do it the opposite way to what you would do if you were doing it on a piece of furniture because you have to do it back to front. Anyway, let's go with getting some of these transfers on this. Okay, now you can probably see a little bit better. So the macadamia is kind of a grey, a, a greyish, I would say. And these are just going to look gorgeous on there. So again, with the transfers, you need to make sure that your surface is sealed. So I've just used or use a uh, mineral based paint that has an inbuilt sealer with it. So I use the Purico um, Silk Range, which has the inbuilt sealer. So I've just taken off my backing sheet. Now I'm left with the front film. Make sure that doesn't roll over onto each other because it will, um, it will pull the transfer off. Okay. So it's sticky, it will pull it off. Okay. So I'm going to pop it on. I 
I've got a bit of wiggle room with my transfers. They're pressure sensitive. So when I want to commit to my spot, I just put a little bit of pressure on, not too much. It is very cute, isn't it, Belinda? And I'm just going to give it a rub all the way over. Now, because this is a cardboard box, I need to hold it a little bit more steady. Just going to hold it behind and give it a rub. You can't really see there, can you? Can you see okay? So, just giving it a rub there. It's going to start releasing from the film. I'm guessing the thumbs up or is the air you can see? Okay. So, when you start rubbing, you'll see that the transfer, when it's releasing, it becomes lighter where it's actually released from. So I'm just going to... a good rub over so if you haven't used a transfer before we've got a petite range that you can start with if you don't want to start with something big or with these this is a large transfer but you get four different sheets in it so it really makes easy for doing several different projects and then by the time you finish that one you'll be a pro but just make sure you've got a sealed surface and that you seal your transfer afterwards so using a water-based sealer then if you want to do some waxing or glazing or something do it after that okay so that's all off now I'm going to use my hocus pocus cotton glove so this enables you to burnish your transfer so rub your transfer on really well to make sure that all the edges are adhered properly because you don't want any air bubbles getting in there Okay, you have to make sure it's sealed properly before you put your top coat on. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Almost looks like it's been drawn on. Okay. And I don't think we're going to lose any. Oh, we lose a little bit on it from the top here, but that's all. So this doesn't want to come off very easy okay what else can we put on here she looks like she's skipping somewhere mm. we've got some florals we might do a little floral around here, little basket, little bucket, or look at that one, beautiful detail, really really beautiful detail in these transfers, I think I'll go with this one. So I tend to, I've already cut this out of the sheet and I've sticky taped them so they don't fold back onto each other. So all I do is make sure I've got a pair of scissors handy and I just cut that little bit off and then I'm right to go. So get your position. area down here 
down the bottom has got a little bit of a bump in it. So I'm just going to get that bit off up here and then I'll put it back down so you can see it. What's everyone up to tonight? Sorry if my head's in the way. So can you see where it's getting lighter? That's how you know it's releasing. Now I'm just going to snip this bit because it's pulling my transfer. So you've got the ability to cut them so you can manipulate them a bit easier. That way you get to control where it kind of breaks or cracks or cuts. Just gonna pull that there at the side. very easy shape to display with. <laughs> just to give it a good rub. Even if you think you've got it all down, go over it. And try not to go over it with your hands because your oils on your hands can get in under the transfer, make it difficult for it to stick down. flowers here and I'll just do this couple and then we'll do the the decoupage has anyone ever done a reverse decoupage before I've done it before on a um, I used a tea towel on a glass um, chopping board I think I got the chopping board from two dollar shop or something and it already had something on it and I had it for years and then it started coming off and I ended up, okay, that one came off very quick. There we go. Yeah, then I ended up just putting a tea towel on it, which works well for chopping boards and things because it, um, it's underneath, so you don't have to worry about it um, being food safe or anything because it's already there. The 
weather's getting warmer up here. What's it like down where you are, Marie? Probably still a bit colder. What's it like in Sydney, Sue? quick I've got one little bit left on there so I'm going to pop that back on where it goes and she's on okay cold and raining oh well I reckon this spring is going to be really wet too which I'm not looking forward to so there's that little bit I'll put something in here, but I won't do that now. We'll get to the um, the reverse decoupage. I'm going to actually put these in the box. So if you've got them cut out, make sure you keep them somewhere where they're not going to get dusty and, and so forth because it will affect the adhesive that's on the back of the film. I mean the back of the top film. Okay, let's clear this up and get going with this. So, did I show you this cute little ducky? Look, isn't it gorgeous? I was going to use her, but I would have lost her head. So, We'll find something else to put her on. Okay. Now, here comes the other door. So, this door is exactly the same as the other one, except I painted it. So, this is the Purico um it was the mulberry but it wasn't the color i was after so i've added a few colors together mulberry firebird and cranberry and carbon so if you like the color just let me know and i'll <laughs> help you make it so what i've done is i've actually cut this out so with your weaves you've got a right side and you've got a wrong side. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell which side's which, so I tend to put it on something and then I fold it over onto itself. Then you can really see which one's, which side's the right side and which side's the wrong side. So for this, remember, we need to put it on the wrong side. So this is going to be stuck like this on here okay so we're gonna flip it up this way now we've got this side now let me double check yep that's the right way <laughs> okay so i've got my water-based sealer so i'm using the purico semi-gloss water-based sealer and i've left this side i knew i wanted this side to be up to the edge but i've left this just so i know i cut it right okay so i've got my cling on and I'm just going to hang on. Yep, that's on the other side. Now, I have actually one second. What I did first on the other one, which I'll do on here again, just to show you. Erase that part. So you got to make sure that your glass is clean. So I've just used 
white spirits just a little bit to make sure it's clean. And get everything off and then let it dry. It dries very quickly. And it stinks. Okay. Okay, so I've got that part and I'm also going to use some little cut off pieces to put up the top. So they will sit up in the top section here. But on the front, I'm going to add some transfers. So Okay, this is dry. Now I'm just going to apply my sealer. I like to be a little bit generous, but it's going to stick very well. And then we're going to put another layer after we've done this and sand sandwich them together. Okay, again, this is the front side, so I need to put that first. Now, because the weaves are fabric, I can take it back off. So they're not like paper. They're like a, kind of like a dryer sheet. So they're quite tough. But you can play with them. So I can put it down, don't like it, I can lift it up. It's not going to take away from the from the image. That's still going to come to the side. Way. Because I've lifted it up, I am going to put some more adhesive on because I've taken it off with the weave. Okay. I want to get right on that. my hand and just wipe it over. I was thinking too, I could leave the top section and it could be used for somebody to put photos or something there. But I'm not going to do that. But it's an idea if someone has a a cabinet to destroy and then <laughs> you want to use the doors for it. Yeah, I went to pick up a little table from this place and the husband had the, they had garages full of things and the husband had his drill ready and he had his hammer. I said, what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm going to go and demolish these cabinets. I said, where are they? Can I have a look? He said, yeah. They, they were just your, they were the bigger old entertainment units that you used to put your big TV in um, or your smaller, t smaller fat TV <laughs> deep. So 
I, I wouldn't have used it the way that it was, but I got all the doors, all the hardware, all the hinges, everything that I could use off it, off it. <laughs> So I just want to make sure that I'm getting my glue in this corner where I've left the other bit of weave just so it's really adhering well. Now if I were to do this over a paper weave, a paper decoupage, I would be getting wrinkles. Okay. No matter what, no matter what, I would be getting wrinkles. Now, I have just done that on there, and there's not one wrinkle. There's a little bit of paint there, but there's not one wrinkle, okay? It's extremely user-friendly, these weaves. Now, to, if you were to put it back on it, you could easily do that if you wanted to. It will be, I mean, if it's going to be against a wall anyway, it's not going to, you're not gonna see through it. But I'll probably put about three coats of sealer over it just to give it that protection. Now, you don't have to do that if you're just going to put it on a wall. But because I'm selling things, I'm, I'm not going to leave them to chance. Now, I'm basically just going... That was a very good pickup, yeah. I'm basically just going to use these um, bits of weave as a filler. I just want them to be fillers behind here. So when I put the transfers on the front, they're going to have like a back, basically, a backdrop. Now, that's the right way for that to go. I'm just going to put that in that corner. Oh, I put it that way. I'm just going to cut it to size because I don't need the whole lot and I don't want to overlap really. Again, just putting my sealer, just going to stick it there and cut where I have the, the timber at the front there. That way I get to use more of my weave and I'm not really wasting any of it because it doesn't need to run across the whole back. So I'm just sandwiching it in there with the rest of the sealer. One layer on the bottom and a layer on the top. know which way I was doing it. There we go. So I like to try and utilize all bits and pieces where I can. So it's given me some great uses for this piece. Got the couple of smaller doors I'm going to use for some other projects. So, okay. Well, I cut that one a bit short, but that doesn't matter. 
because I can add this bit in there. Okie doke. And the good thing is, because this is on the back of it, I can just flip it over and put the transfers on. I don't need to worry about it getting, or see, see, don't have to worry about the sealer being dry necessarily to put the transfers on. Okay. I'm just gonna dry this a little bit so I can cut in here. You don't want to get your heat gun too close to the weeds because they will burn them. Just in there, it's still a bit wet. can flip it over and we can add to the front of it. So take that off. I'm going to use some of the Hocus Pocus metallic foils. So some of the butterflies. Hello Nidal. I hope you're well in Sydney. Okay. They have also got in the metallics range the musical notes. Ah, oh, which reminds me. In the next couple of lives, I will be doing up a guitar and violin so stay tuned for those now the foil accents are their transfers just the same as the others but they look a little bit different so they don't have a clear film at the front so the film is the foil basically um, but you put them on the same way so they come with a smaller stick just move forward a little bit and you want to still be just as careful when you're putting them on something and the good thing too about these is see how they've got the edges so they've got some butterflies that aren't actually connected to anything so you can use those to your advantage and put them on edges so 
Don't look at them and think, oh, there's some bits that are wasted there. They're not. It's all purposeful. So I'm basically, the reason I've chosen the colours that I've chosen is I wanted to pull some colours out of the actual design of the weave itself. So we've got a dark purple sort of in throughout the weave, but they're only smaller bits. So I wanted to pull that out and that's why I chose that colour on here. And I've chosen the gold foils because we've got little spurts of gold through it as well. So when you're doing a project, you want to look at those things and try and utilise what is in either whether it be the, the age of your piece, something that relates with that, whether it's your the paint colour that you've chosen or your weave that you've chosen. And just be purposeful with your placement of things. So I'm just going to cut a few of these out and then we'll start placing them on. So just make sure that when you are using them that you don't let them touch. Just like the other transfers, you don't want them to roll over onto each other or fold over onto each other. Now, I'm just going to place that down in there and give it a rub like the others. Now, they are a little bit stickier in their adhesive, so when you're pulling it off, just make sure it is really well adhered. You can put them back down, but sometimes it will, that because it's a foil, it will um, kind of ball up onto itself. It's not, um, not necessarily as forgiving as the others, but you can see, can you see that one there? So just got that little one in the in the top corner there. And I'm just going to build on that. So it was very, very quick and simple to put on. So we're just going to keep going with those and build our build our garden so to speak. Now, okay, well, actually I will use this little one here. see this one a bit better. Now as I said this is the silk finish so I don't need to seal it because it's already got an inbuilt sealer but if it was a chalk base paint it would be very porous so I would need to ensure that I've got a sealer that I've sealed the or if it's bare timber make sure that you've sealed it. With metal uh, you don't need to worry about that, glass, mirrors, that type of thing because they're already a very slick surface. Okay. Now you don't get the glove with these but you still want to burnish them down. You still want to ensure that you've got no air or no bubbles underneath. 
but be very gentle with them because they are more fragile than the other transfers. So can you see that one on there? the wings some of the tips will probably attach to other other uh, other butterflies so they may actually join together with some of the odd little wings that you've got around um, I haven't looked that far into them but you probably can Anyway, I'll look at that another day. So, we might do a little cluster. That's a different one. Now that one's just got a little tip missing on him here. So, I might... No, I don't want to put him there. I'd actually bring him down here. And he's going to have his tip missing there. Okay. And the gold goes really nicely against this colour. gold foil just already in a pattern in a shape for you not that I can get gold foil to look this good it's one of my pet peeves okay so we've got him there on the bottom corner Very gentle, just going over it in the direction that it's already going. Otherwise, I'm going to end up pulling it up and lifting it. And you can layer them. You just need to be, as I said, a little bit more careful. Now, I'm going to pop this one. I'm going to cut close to here because I want it to go right up against the side. Now, which side? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to put him in the middle. Okay. Now these do not give you time to play like the others. So once they stick, they stick. Okay. You've got a little bit more play on the timber than you do on the glass or, you know, um, that type of surface.
time are we on? Okay, 45 minutes. Okay. So I'm probably going to continue with this. I do appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. And I hope I've given you some ideas on things that different ways that you can do some things and utilize so you got those in there and I'll see how I go with finishing them off and um, yeah, I'll pop some photos up so everyone can see. But thank you everyone for tuning in and we will be live again Wednesday. I think Mel's on. Uh, Mel from Refunk Junk will be on on Wednesday. And then I think, thanks Lynn, thanks Marie. Um, then I think Sue is going to be back on. I think we're going to have a, an episode two soon and then i will be on the following week so we kind of take take it in turns and um yeah any questions anything you want to see just let us know and we'll see you next time thanks guys your num there is a number two <laughs> okay that's great thanks guys have a good weekend bye